Thank you very much. Welcome, friends and colleagues. Some of you may still remember me from the last summit in 2016. And at that time, I was rep representing a multinational. And I was asked to speak in Chinese uh, when I was doing that. Uh, I gave a keynote speech uh, on day one of the summit. So being a uh, natural born contrarian, I think it would be a, probably a good idea this year, since I represent a Chinese company, to, to uh, uh, use English as my, the language of my speech. And I will be considerate to the interpreter. Uh, from time to time, I would uh, pause and uh, translate myself in some of the paragraphs that may lead to uh, misunderstanding or ambiguity. How do you feel about that ar arrangement so far? Thank you. Um, so, um, we, before I, I begin on the actual agenda of the demo day and, uh, and uh, the uh, uh, reveal the much anticip anticipated results of the Global Challenge, um, a few words on why uh, are we doing this. Uh, those of you who have attended last, the last summit may recall that the closing, at the closing speech uh, from the last summit, um, our leadership announced a, the Innova City at the time, the Chongqing Junocheng in Chinese, and uh, in English now we refer to it as Innova City, innovation, and, uh, and on the one hand, it uh, refers to innovation. On the other, it uh, refers to the word Nova, uh, We hope that uh, this, is, this will be a Nova event for blockchain application in smart city, uh, advanced manufacturing, and uh, renewable energy infrastructure. So the Innova City was announced last year, last September, at the closing ceremony. And since then, we have been working on a number of initiatives to substantiate our plan, to implement uh, our uh, vision in terms of how to bring blockchain to the Innova City project. So we figured that, yes, in China, we have been, in, in, in outside of China, we have been making a lot of investments, we have been organizing events, we have been investing in uh, tech technology companies who work on the foundational layer of the blo blockchain fabric. Uh, however, uh, even, even with, within our immediate ecosystem, uh, our capability is still not unlimited. So we should look beyond. We should encourage the global community, the global blockchain community, to participate in this exciting opportunity. This is, as the uh, MC just pointed out, uh, this is the largest application project for, uh, for blockchain. And the reason we're doing this, in short, can be said to be twofold. Number one, the Innova City is an exciting opportunity for data infrastructure, physical infrastructure, and communication infrastructure of a city to be developed, designed, and implemented all at the same time. So there are a lot of smart city projects around the world, but usually they are a layer of smartness, database smartness, on top of the existing city infrastructure. That makes, for example, to, to quote a very specific example, smart transportation, um, that makes infrastructure to vehicle communication um, relatively difficult to implement. Uh, so, with the, when we are building the physical infrastructure of the city, we have a lot more leeway to implement the foundational layer for a viable blockchain application network. So in Nova City, this opportunity of integrating the three layer data, communication, and physical infrastructure, we feel is unprecedented, it should not. And in order to have this opportunity, we need a broad range of industrial expertise, and we need a broad range of uh, technology based on blockchain and how to bring those to fruition in actual, in actual applications. So that's our number one reason, Innova City. Number two is that even last year, we already see certain signs of a 
focus on the financial side or P to P, occasionally uh, speculative side of, of blockchain application. So we feel that we should promote and encourage a broader application perspective on blockchain. After all, the, you know, the, we we say that in blockchain we trust. So blockchain. If we want to build blockchain into a truly trust engine, we need to be true to our words. We need to explore where trust is needed. And basically, the answer to that is everywhere. So in multiple industries. Supply chain finance, in smart city, in smart transportation, uh, EV, everywhere, in renewable energies, we feel that blockchain is the trust engine much needed. So we want to encourage, we want to take this opportunity to encourage a broader perspective of that. So in light of what, what's been happening over the last few months, I think that uh, broader perspective is more needed than ever. We're very happy that we're in a position to share some of our learnings, some of our, some of our joint learnings with our friends and colleagues in the community, especially those teams who participated in this uh, challenge. And we feel that this is a great journey. And this journey only began today when we launch on the investigation and implementation of blockchain for the Innova City, uh, City Project and beyond. So I feel that this is, a, at this moment, in this stage of blockchain development in China and in the world, um, this is a much welcome uh, breath of uh, breath, uh, fresh air. All right, without further ado, I should uh, uh, launch into the specific agenda of today. Um, I think I've done the introduction part. And uh, a little, uh, let me throw a few numbers out and uh, th let me also introduce uh, the ways that we're going to uh, make those numbers real. Uh, for, we, we open up five different categories. And for each of the category, we offer three prizes. First prize, second prize, third prize. And the prize money is 1.5, you know, uh, 15K USD first, I won't read the, the slides, you can see, that's, that's straightforward enough. And the way we're going, going to pay out is we will associate that with the, it, with the appropriate uh, digital token uh, as a brand. And to be true to the blockchain spirit, um, an overview of the uh, uh, global challenge since we launched it. We announced that intent late last year, and we formally launched it in May, this past May. And since then, we have received 38 project proposals, and 20 of them come from overseas, true to the nature of a global uh, blockchain challenge, and 18 from uh, China-based teams. And the, uh, the, off the overseas team teams from US, from Germany, from Japan, and from New Zealand. Basically, uh, we cover uh, most of the continents where uh, blockchain activity is active. And we, the background of the teams also is consistent with our expectations. They are not, they, they come from uh, industrial teams who understand especially the renewable energy market and renewable energy industrial applications. They also come from universities, uh, including, I'm pleased to report, my alma mater, UC Berkeley. Um, and we also then additionally research institutes for the industry and various uh, startup teams. We see a, the gamut of talent running through is really impressive. Well, that's again true to the spirit of this blockchain challenge because when we organize this, we feel that, that there are three things we plan to do. One is that we want to uh, discover talents. Discover talents, why do the blockchain talents need discovery? Well, with all due humility, blockchain has a uh, self sustained momentum uh, today. However, blockchains. How do we channel, how do we channel the energy and the innovation, innovative energy of blockchain 
into applications that fit the broader perspective outside the financial sector, into smart cities, renewable energy infrastructure, where trust is much needed, where trust could be the make or break point of adoption, of new, of new technology adoption. So we feel that we, by offering this value of looking beyond immediate financial actors, looking beyond the, the sexy topics, uh, to encourage people to look into industry, we offer a means to discover talent. Then, we, the second dimension is that we want to promote their activities by investment into them. This is not just the prize money, but also the venture capital money that will follow on to cultivate the growth of the teams to, uh, to maturity. The third one is socialize the talents, socialize the global talent uh, community. This event, that's why you're sitting here, and I hope that uh, you will take, uh, take advantage of this opportunity to socialize with each other. To, we hope that uh, by the end of today, there will be new teams who will join next year's Global Blockchain Challenge, who will join the broader blockchain community into innovations in financial sectors, and more importantly, in industries beyond fin immediate financial interests. Now, 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 well, I can see that uh, I, I hope that uh, we can have an uh, Oscar uh, kind of uh, uh, event where I will open up a little envelope. But the problem with PPT is that they're immediate, uh, immediately obvious. Okay, so, but still, let me uh, give a verbal recognition to the great teams uh, that are the prize winners. In, we have five categories, a uh, follow category by category, and the blockchain technology in power access is exchange. I'm glad to report that the first prize goes to BrainBot Technology. Chris? The second prize goes to blockchain at Berkeley. Um, this is a, a university-based team. Uh, working on the electricity uh, exchange. And the third goes to Yinan uh, Zhilian from China. This is a team very well versed in the uh, power uh, industries in China. And we look forward to a broader exchange and communication within the teams in this category. We see a collaboration, we see further development of each team, and we see a vibrant ecosystem for, for which this context, this category, cast, I hope, a very productive seed. The second category is smart terminal uh, reference solution. Now, a note of explanation. You notice that uh, we leave the first prize blank. That is because the spirit of this global challenge, being the first of its kind, is that we want to encourage participation we also wish to maintain a high quality. We have received many valuable proposals in this category and others. However, we feel that the proposals uh, we have not reached the standard that the review committee and the, our broader uh, the community of friends and developers in the blockchain community come to expect. So, let, so the fact that we leave the first prize blank, please uh, uh, read this as a sign, as an invitation. We invite further teams to provide more mature uh, solutions. We invite, further, we invite the prize winning teams to refine their solutions for the upcoming challenges. Yeah. So in this category, the second prize goes to uh, Micromatrix. Can the team stand up? A, the third prize goes to uh, Nayura. So, a uh, little digre digression on this topic. Uh, I came from a IoT terminal background, and I feel from my past experience working at Intel and Finia, where uh, industrial you know, IoT applications are a uh, major category of activities. I feel that there's a natural synergy between blockchain and IoT, and I feel that this category is only the beginning, this year is only the beginning for additional 
attractive proposals come our way to be shared with the community. The third category is uh, full life cycle management system for batteries. This is a topic very close to heart. You know, uh, uh, Xiang is a uh, auto component company in the transition to EV and uh, EV traction battery as well as energy storage system. So in doing so, it's very important to track the full life cycle of a battery. So we feel that in the future there's a possibility that the battery will become a tradable commodity and will be a transferable commodity. You go to a power station, very likely, instead of waiting for your batteries to be charged, you will just get an addition, a new set of batteries to, so that you can move on immediately. Now, applications like that and applications such as recycling traction battery when it's below the stringent standard of efficiency uh, to uh, to energy storage units, to energy storage applications in the uh, distributed renewable energy in, in microgrid uh, that is being built around the world. So, how, but in order for that to happen, in order for batteries to be used in a trustworthy way across the application domains, what you need is a full life cycle uh, database that is temper free, that is that provides all the useful information and the useful information is correlated to the valuation of the asset. So this category, I'm very happy to report, the first prize goes to Filament, a US-based company who is a leader in uh, blockchain application in IoT. The second prize goes to uh, BlockX and the Fujitsu. So, uh, these, we feel that these two teams, their merits, we spend hours debating the comparative merits uh, in terms of scoring, and we feel that they both deserve a uh, deserve the second prize in this category. And the third prize goes to Kaola. Kaola is a great company in uh, Japan, having uh, talents from uh, well-established multinational with great technology know-hows and they are very strong in industrial applications. We feel that this is the beginning of, a, in, of their involvement with the Chinese, China-based blockchain community and, application and industries for uh, adoption. The, la the, the fourth category is the smart city wildcards. Here we, we call it wildcards because we, wanna, we don't want to limit the, uh, uh, the potential of application for blockchain in a smart city project. There are so many different projects. And here the first prize goes to Factum. And I have a few words to say about that uh, later on. And the second prize goes to Jam. And I will leave to, leave, the, leave to the individual teams to introduce to you what exactly are the applications, are their applications for uh, blockchain in smart city usage. Now, a very quick digression on the Factum solution. Factum solution uh, really wins the heart and mind of the review committee because of uh, a re uh, piece of recent news. Uh, some of you may have heard the uh, interesting news, interesting anecdote of a uh, Chinese American couple buying a street, buying the right of access to a street in the most expensive neighborhood in San Francisco for twenty thousand U.S. dollars. And uh, to add irony to their good fortune, uh, that community, residential community, was known for, exclusi uh, for excluding uh, Asian Americans, either Chinese or Japanese. So it, it's, a, it's great irony that so many years later, two Chinese Americans managed to buy the street for $20,000 due to a uh, for, due to poor attention of the homeowner association to pay their, their dues. Now, what, what does that have to do with blockchain? In blockchain we trust. In blockchain we trust, the blockchain implementation of blockchain in the ownership, in the procurement, and in the tra type of transfer of that street would have made that irrelevant. It would bring trust to both the homeowners and to the, to the city administration. But I'll leave that to uh, the faculty team to, to tell you the, all the gruesome details.
recognition at last, it's a recognition to our selection committee. Uh, as we promised, the selection, the review, the proposal review is subject to a uh, stringent um, uh, review process by a select, uh, a very select uh, committee that include not only blockchain experts, but more importantly, industrial experts who are heavily involved in China's renewable energy uh, initiatives and in China's uh, state grid, the power grid industries. And uh, particular recognition to uh, Mr. Bai Shuo, who is a, the technical guru of blockchain in China and who is a, uh, who, who is a great uh, talent and brain behind China Ledger. And I have been reminded three times that I'm running out of time, so I, I'm afraid I have to cut the introduction to others, but suffice it to say that uh, they provide the much needed access to, to industry expertise that makes blockchain relevant to this broader perspective of applications. I'll stop there. Thank you very much. And try to take advantage of this occasion to talk to each other, to socialize with one another. This is what we do that for. Thank you.